Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to shade and render a realistic skin inside of Blender. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and keep watching. Alright guys, here I have HDR for lighting, as you can see, and a black plane with zero specular in the back and here I have Emily OBJ that I will put a link in the description down below so you can go and download this file and I just can go to shading and shading tab here and with shift A I just create a shader here uh, blender default shader pb and connect this green dot to surface and here I have a base color so here I need to change a specular to one and now we need to create a text image texture and just copy this control v control v and one more control v okay so let's uh, bring displacement so you will have this displacement map inside your files so i just go to displacement folder and open this displacement and connect the uh, color I need uh, to add a vector displacement so I go to vector and here I bring displacement node and connect color to height and displacement to displacement so here we have displacement as you can see here okay now we need to bring a color to give uh, this Emily some color so I just bring um, click open and bring color go to texture folder color diffuse and here I just open this color okay now I just connect the color to base color here and as you can see we have color now we need some SSS so we just go to subsurface and put 0 dot maybe 50 oops 0 dot 50 okay and here you can connect color to subsurface color and color to subsurface radius so now we have much more like a skin shading here as you can see so we need to add a, a, a specular mask so you can find inside the texture color and here you have a specular so you can connect a specular color to a specular in shading so here I just change this to known color and let's see if I change the roughness you will see some areas like here nose and lips have some specular so I just put that this is fine I think let's put uh, 350 and yeah let's see the effect oh oops 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 <laughs> I change 3 0 0.350 okay now we have a good roughness 
roughness like is like a glassy it glassy effect if I put uh, one it's more rougher and when you bring down the roughness you will get a glassy effect on your skin so here I just added that and yeah that's it for shading realistic skin uh, here in a subsurface uh, it depends uh, on your size of your character so if a size of your character is uh, a small your subsurface should be around 900 or 1001 like I mean 900 but if your character is big your number should be less so here I just put 50 and you can maybe go around 82080 mm, yeah that's it guys all right if you want to be more advanced in shading here you can disconnect uh, subsurface radius here and just copy this control C control V and add mix RGB and connect color let's add key on your keyboard just press ctrl shift left click on this texture image texture and connect color to color and this color to subsurface radius so here you can select a dark red color Mm, let's make it dark yeah and ctrl shift left click on this so we can see what we have for our radius we can have a color like this and then we connect the color to radius and here if I ctrl shift click on the main shading I have more advanced radius so you can play with subsurface maybe change it to see the effect you can change this to random work too so let's mm, let's zoom in let's go up a little bit so maybe 200 let's try 200 yeah we have nice reddish and skin shading okay for rendering just select this and let's see what we have in nodes yeah everything is fine for rendering we go to render setting here and you should change the samples render to uh, 1500 and diffuse 10 glossy 10 bounces and yeah that's it and go down here if you using CPU this is fine and let's go to the next one here we change the quality to 100 and RGB JPG and you can change the resolution to 4k let's change it to 2000, 2000 yeah. and here I can render now and I will show you the end result we got for this uh, skin shading alright guys here is our 
render result we have a very good and realistic skin here so you can change the roughness so if you don't want the glossy less glossy you can change it it's depend on you and what you want for your 